guys. So today I'm going to be doing all about Sagittarius. Uh, so the first three astrological facts about Sagittarius is that they are ruled by the planet Jupiter. Jupiter is the planet of expansion, of luck, um, of luck, I don't know. And then second fact about Sagittarius is that they rule over the ninth house. Um, ninth house is kind of your intelligence, your philosophies, um, travel, um, and they are also a mutable sign, which is your Virgo, Pisces, and Gemini, as well as Sagittarius, so they are kind of restless, um, can sometimes come off all over the place, uh, changes their mind a lot, they're constantly kind of trying to expand on or challenge themselves, so they're not typically doing one thing for too long, they like to uh, avoid being stagnant or feeling stuck um, and they are probably the most adventurous mutual sign because they're constantly needing to travel and this doesn't have to be physically you don't have to see every Sagittarius with a backpack hitchhiking across the sea um, but you could definitely trust that Sagittarius is expanding on some facet of their life constantly uh, challenging themselves no matter what um, and they just aren't a sign that you can really pin down. Um, so yeah. And then three pros about Sagittarius. First pro about Sagittarius is that they're extremely funny. Um, they are the most fast, uh, sharp-witted sign, I want to say. They're very sharp-tongued um, and satirical in a way. But they use a lot of their wisdom in very com comedic ways to lighten the mood or to break the ice and they're always someone that may shock you with what they have to say but it's also very um funny or lighthearted. they poke fun at themselves a lot and they're just a very laid-back person to be around and then second pro about Sagittarius is that they are extremely intelligent they spend a lot of time um, invested in the things that they care about, the topics that truly interest them. So if you ever want to challenge them on a topic, they're open to debates, they're open to discussions. Um, might get offended if you try to say what they know is wrong. Um, but apart from that, they are um, one of the best people to have very like philosophical conversations with about life. They love like the deep talks, they love um, just kind of expanding or opening your mind up to new philosophies or ideas. Um, they are the person to go to for that. And then the third pro about Sagittarius is they're the most positive sign in the zodiac. They constantly will lift you up, they have the best advice, they can make the worst case scenario in your life feel like something that is a breeze and they always know what to say when you need to hear it. Um, they don't even think they try to, they just naturally know how to look on the bright side of things and get you to see a positive perspective, even if you don't always want to, um, and that's always very nice to have because sometimes we really need that pep talk um, that we're not always getting from our other friends. Now three cons about Sagittarius. First con about Sagittarius is that they can be extremely sensitive to criticism but unaware of the fact that they themselves are very quick to give it. I feel like they just are a very no-nonsense person and they also have kind of like word diarrhea at the time, at, in a sense. They'll say something that they don't necessarily think through. I feel like they'll just see a scenario, they'll say the first thing that comes to mind. They're very quick to call any BS or to lay facts out if they feel like something is unjust. They're very kind of, um, not the police for justice, but I feel like they really need to let people know when something is not okay. Um, but if you are to treat them the same way or act the same way with them, they can get quickly offended um, and they can be extremely sensitive to criticism, although they constantly dish it out. And then second con about Sagittarius is that they can push people away easily. I feel like they keep everyone at a distance or they go through periods where um, 
they feel like it's safer to just not get too invested in people at a lot of the time um and i feel like a lot of people feel like it's oh like they just don't have emotions or they don't get that deep with people it's not that they can't a lot of times they really care about someone or they get too invested to the point that they become obsessive with them um which i don't think a lot of people realize is that like sagittarius can be almost as obsessed as a scorpio when it comes to someone they really care about because they're committed to deeper meanings deeper truths deeper relationships so they're not someone that's going to just stay on surface level if they care about you they're going to literally like explore everything with you um like explore your mind with you they just they want to know everything about you but sometimes they can get hurt by doing this because a lot of the time they jump in heart first instead of head and get burnt out really easily when things don't work out the way that they wanted them to um but they need to not constantly use deflection or pushing people away as a coping mechanism because that's going to prevent them from their own personal growth which they are always so set on exploring and third con about Sagittarius is that they they need to learn how to commit to themselves first before trying to commit to people or new plans or agendas they get very excited and they start many projects but then they can lose momentum and quit them all at the same time um they're similar to gemini in this sense and i feel like when they learn to ground themselves and to kind of slow down a bit they're more likely to follow through with the things that they say they're going to do um as well as the things that they genuinely want to do but a lot of times they get excited, they overcommit, and then they flake out. So they need to focus on kind of slowing down because they're too fast. And overall, that completes my All About Sagittarius video. Let me know if you like this video, if you relate to anything that I said, if you disagree, tell me why. And make sure to turn the not notification bell on, subscribe, and give me a thumbs up. And I will see you in my next video.